Okay, guys. Um, this final session is about uh, retail technology and how it really affects us. So what I thought was I'd throw a few things in the air. And uh, as the panelist comes in, may I invite the panelists here across, please? These are some of the, the big trends that have been identified as far as, as retail is concerned, which is everything is faster, quicker, uh, omni-channel to omni-experience. This is another one of the key areas that we, we look at. Let me start with a very, very open question. We live in a retail-rich environment. Uh, how soon are we seeing the changes happening? Because we have so much retail inventory and so much new retail inventory being built in our part of the world. Retail is changing, of course, and uh, retailers have to rediscover, as a lot of times all of us has been saying, uh, the focus has to be more towards experientials. Uh, retailers who are reinventing their business models, like what we saw in your latest video of, of Best Buy, right? Best Buy now today is saying, okay, uh, you want to come to my store, uh, you want to try out my technology, okay, take it home, keep it, right? And we'll come and collect from you. Yeah, no problem if you don't need it, right? Best Buy is sending consultants to consumers' homes, right, to advise them on the right technology to buy. So retail is disrupted, will get consolidated. Retail will reinvent itself because it will become premium, as you rightly said, right? Theaters almost were dead and it, they came back. Mm -hmm. The same phenomenon I feel will happen in retail. Can you explain what an omni-channel experience when is, please? When we speak about omni-channel, that practically means that a store, a retail, has to give an experience across all kind of channels, which could be digital, physical, or experiential, could be social media as well. That's where a retail has to touch base with all its customers, and the com encompassing thing is called omni-channel retail. Thank now, you. We look at the, uh, the overall supply chain, um, and because there are a lot of engineers uh, in this group. So how are we, uh, you know, this is an entrepreneurial environment, a startup environment. Do you think we're doing enough in terms of building the, the entire supply chain, the back end, whether it's payment systems, the fulfillment, or the process? As you know now, it's becoming a one-stop shop. So you cannot have one technology, you cannot have the other. But you need to make sure you have the right technology in your supply chain because the complexity nowadays is 10 times higher than it used to be back in the days. The Internet of Things was always implemented in the logistics, but nowadays, for example, you're retaining an inventory of 20, 30,000 SKUs. Back in the days, you had few players only who had that much inventory. So if you are not well equipped, if you don't have the right technology, if you didn't do a proof of concept for it, it's better not to implement it. This is how I see it. One of them uh, which keeps coming up is, is the word uh, shared economy. Uh, how is the shared economy uh, going to, to affect the retail environment? We had uh, this year um, two focus in our yearly study. One is renting versus owning. Okay. And the other one was purchasing secondhand versus purchasing new. Okay. And the results we had all over the world was pretty spread out by nationality. Okay. For example, Chinese, they will not like purchasing secondhand. It gives bad luck. They are afraid to purchase from dead people. It brings bad luck. So sometimes you could have the best technology, best offer, secondhand products in, uh, in China. There is a strong barrier in mind. So we do believe that uh, renting versus owning is something that the brand needs to look at. And purchasing secondhand versus purchasing um, new, it will happen also uh, because of millennials also uh, that are more into a saving environment and so on. But be careful of the um, nationality split for a, a secondhand product. Uh.